the monster to appear while Shaggy and Scooby act as bait. Like, isn't it somebody else's turn? Guys, you're forgetting. We're looking for a monster covered in Scooby snacks. You two have noses like bloodhounds for that stuff. That suddenly reminds me, I'm catching a cold. <laughs> 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 Oh man, I smell something good, which can only be bad. Keep an eye out for that monster, Scoob. The monster, it's here. It's circling a Scoob, hunting us down, luring us into a deliciously vicious... <gasps> suspected. Trudy's a spy. She's been trying to steal the secret recipe for a rival factory. Well, there you have it. Mystery solved. Let's get back to bathing and batter. Wait. Didn't Trudy just start working here? And hasn't that monster been around for months? Thelma, you think too much. Let's go. But if Trudy's not the monster, then that can only mean... <laughs> That's the monster. Mr. Meister. That's easy for you to say. I wouldn't be so sure. Penelope Bailey. <laughs> Penelope? You're the monster? I'm afraid she is. Penelope faked being attacked by the monster. But I knew she was lying when we found snacks at her in her office. Yet not one drop was on her. That's because Penelope's allergic to Scooby Snacks. The hazmat suit was to protect her from getting a rash. Not to mention it made her look a lot more menacing. Well, I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for you pestering kids. That's Ooh. meddling kids with an M? But why, Penny? Why do it at all? I wanted to scare away thieves and protect our secret recipe. I was only looking out for the family business. Oh, don't you fret. Now that you've solved our monster problem, I don't have to close the factory. I'd say that deserves a reward. <whistles> like a lifetime supply of Scooby Snacks. <laughs> Dig in, kiddos. <laughs> <laughs> I guess a lifetime supply doesn't go as far as it used to. I can fix that. Up aboard! <laughs> Scooby Snacky Doo! 